Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. In today's video, we are going to be putting some of my bigger Hoya on trellises. Let's get right into it. So I wanted to start off by showing you some of the Hoya that we're going to be trellising today. It's basically all of the Hoya that have been in my windows. I'm transferring them from hanging plants to trellis plants. I feel like they would look so much better with how long they are. So this is one of them, super long, super cute. But we definitely are going to have to repot this one. I showed you this plant in this pot several videos ago and I still have yet to repot it. So today we're going to be doing that as well. This is my Hoya pubicalyx that we repotted several videos ago. She was hanging in a window too and she's getting pretty long so I definitely want to get her on a trellis. Look at how full she is at the bottom. Wow. And this is my biggest Hoya that we need to get up on a trellis. Look how big this leaf is. I mean, it's crinkly, but it's pretty big. She is getting super large. So we are going to be putting her on a trellis as well. I have a desk full of plants. So I ordered these round trellises on Amazon. Let's take them out. This is what they look like. They came with some tie for the plant as well. These are pretty big, like way bigger than my head. It's so dark in here because it's such a rainy day so you probably can't see this that well. Or maybe you can. So I have the purple glue. <laughs> That's why I have the purple grow lights on in the back because there's no sun in my living room besides right here So yes, these are the trellises we're going to be using and I'm super freaking excited The only thing that I forgot to get are clips to clip the plant on because that would have been super easy But I have this tie that it came with Let me see how it bends. Oh, it bends pretty good Yeah, I'm definitely gonna use this and I have some other type of tie so Shouldn't be too bad, but I definitely want to get my Hoya trellis up first, so let's do that. I freaking love Hoya obovadas. I know this one desperately needs water, but look how pretty it is. It's so juicy. So we're starting off with my Hoya pubicalyx. I'm not gonna repot this plant because I had this plant in a bigger pot for so long and the growth was so slow. So all of this growth is from downsizing the pot. So I plan to keep it in here. I was gonna say, what trellis are we gonna use? They're all the same. They had different shapes, but I didn't really like the other shapes that they had on it. Oop. I will link these trellises down below. I think it was $10 for four of these, which in my opinion is a good deal. So I snagged those up. They did have different shapes, but I went with the round because it's cute and I love anything round. So I literally just stuck this thing all the way down to the bottom of the pot which wasn't that hard, but I hope I didn't break too many roots. I'm excited. I could probably cut this up into several different pieces. I'm just gonna do that really quick. And I'm just gonna start taking a vine and you know, putting it on here, making sure it's super secure. Yeah, this is why I wanted um, clips, like these kind of clips, I only have one of them but it would have been so much faster and so much easier. I would rather just tie it with the um, string at this point. Just be easier than doing what I was just doing. It's not tight enough, honestly. You don't want it too tight, but you definitely want it tight enough to hold the plant up. And it just wasn't giving what it needed to give. I'm gonna cut off all the excess string after. I just wanna get it on here. But the clips definitely would have been the easiest. Okay, that is the first one on here. It's looking good. Let me cut the excess off now so I don't have like a thousand to cut off after. <sighs> that dust that comes off of the string. 
Okay, so now I'm just gonna take another vine, maybe from the other side, no? You do the loop-de-loop -loop and pull, and your shoes are looking good. This was too little of a string, April, like you know better with these long ass nails. They're not even that long though, like, I did them pretty short this time. I can't tie this. You can keep it pushing. But yeah, I wanted to do a nice relaxing video today. Today is the first day that it hasn't been a thousand degrees since the last time. So it's nice and chilly. August is almost over and then we're moving into fall. I'm so freaking happy. I can't wait till spooky vibes and watching Halloween movies and baking pumpkin cookies and wearing sweatpants and oversized hoodies all the time. Ugh. I need a new book to read though. I just finished reading that book, Verity, because TikTok made me buy it. And honestly, it wasn't worth the read. I feel traumatized from reading that book. So I need another spooky book to read going into September. Another longer vine. Oh my God, this is so relaxing and fun. I could literally do this all day. I don't want it to look like shit though. I literally cut a piece of my Hoya on accident and it was such a big piece. So now this is not gonna look as cute as it did. Where did it just go? I just had it. Where did it go? Oh, it did fall. <laughs> I accidentally cut off this big juicy piece of Hoya pubicalis and now I have to propagate it. I'm so sad, like look at this. We'll just toss that to the side for now. I'm just gonna finish tying this bad boy up. The bottom is so full compared to the top, but I'm sure that will fill in now that it's being trellised. Let's go. Okay, there aren't any more vines long enough to fit on the trellis. But look at how crazy this looks. Like, <laughs> this looks freaking insane. And the Hoya Obovada, Obovada, the Hoya Obovada are much bigger, so I'm so excited to trellis those. I just wanted to get this one out of the way first. Just gonna cut off all the excess and we can move on to the next plant. Okay. This is what my pubic calyx looks like now. A lot cuter than it was, although I did really like it hanging from the window. I'm just done with plants hanging in my windows until I get some new curtain rods and install them because these plants get heavy, especially my semi-hydro plants, which are all of them. <laughs> they get super heavy, so this is a good solution. Yay, I'm so excited. So we are going to be doing this Hoya Obovada next. I'm gonna repot it into this pot first because let me show us. Let me see if you guys can see the inside of this pot. It's super dry, first of all, and it's super root bound. I do still have some of that LECA that we cleaned off in my last video. Hopefully, there's no ants in it. I'm so excited to take this out of the pot. Oh no, it's super dry though, so that's kind of scary. Oh my god, it's so dry that it's stuck. This always happens to me. I'm just gonna add some water to it so we can get it out of the pot because are you kidding? So I just added some water so I can pull it out. OMG, come on. Oh my god, guys, it's so stuck. I don't know what to do. OMG. That's because there's more roots than there is pot in here. Yay! <gasps> Look at this! This looks crazy. <gasps> oh my gosh. Um, should we put it in the elbow pot? Well, the elbow's not really in this pot. I'm gonna end up breaking this pot. The elbow is in this pot. So, we're gonna put him in here and see how that works out. Instead of this pot because it's just not working out. 
the way I want it to. Okay, so I'm just getting him. Oh God, I forgot there were two cuttings in here. They just like parted ways, like what the heck? Okay, I'm gonna try to get some Lekka in here. We got some Lekka and Pond mixture in the pot. I'm not gonna show you because I'll spill it. I can't forget to water this plant. Cause he needed water desperately. Time for the second Shirellis. Just gonna stick him on in here. Maybe we should stick him closer like Well, that's not that sturdy. <laughs> I feel like a Hoya Obovada, the vines are already shaped so circular. So this is gonna be pretty easy. But since it's thicker, I'm gonna tie them with two strings at a time instead of one so that it has a better hold. Hopefully this encourages my Hoya Obovada to bloom. It's almost that time of year where I have to have my grow lights running 24 hours a day because the sun goes down at like 3.30 in the fall and winter here. So I'm definitely gonna have to have the grow lights running. I might get some new grow lights though. I'm just really not sure which ones to get besides the ones I have already. Oh my God, this thing is just, I might have to add some more Lekka back there just to make it sturdy. Why does Lekka always fall everywhere? That's a problem. It's creating a problem. Okay, moving on up. Moving on up. Oh, oh my God, look at this. Like, oh my God, this is gonna be so freaking cool. What happened to those two strings? What do I feel like I'm whispering? I'm just gonna hook it up here so it stays up here while I'm doing the bottom. Because if I don't, then it's gonna start flopping over violently. Boop. I think my Alocasia Jacqueline is dying because it had a new leaf that was coming up and now that new little growth point is kind of molded. So I'm hoping that another leaf tries to grow in, but I'm not too sure. And I still can't find another corm on Etsy. The seller doesn't sell them anymore and you can't find one on Etsy. I don't know why that's the only place I buy <laughs> plants online. I know there's like actual plant shops. Well, there's plant shops on Etsy, but I know there's like actual sites I can go to to purchase plants on the internet. But Etsy is just easier, honestly. That's why I usually buy them. They have the cutest stuff on Etsy, for real. Like some of the cutest stuff I've ever seen. But I've gotten some really good plants from there. Really, really good. Not this plant though. This plant came from a Facebook seller. Ooh. She sold me a very big Hoya Obovada for 30 bucks. And I just feel like that was a steal because I have gotten several plants out of that plant. You guys know if you've been following me. I don't like how this thing is leaning back. I'm gonna have to give it something to like, I don't like that. We're almost done with this one. Oh my God, there's so much freaking dust everywhere from these string. And it's not even like dust, it's like tiny little hairs. The rest of this is kind of just a string. So I'm going to tie it where I can. Yay, we're done with this one. Oh my God. This is the most cutest thing ever. I wish I could have a Hoya Obovado wreath on my door. That would be so freaking cute, but it would definitely die in my hallway, so. 
that's a dream for a future April. Let me cut off the excess and we can move on to the next plant. This is him without all the excess on him. Oh, just kidding. This is my newly staked Hoya Obovada. It looks so much better than it did, for sure. Like, look at this thing. Come back up a little bit. It's freaking huge. The last one we're gonna be trellising is my biggest Hoya Obovada. Here is the trellis. Just gonna stick it down in here. Oh my God, I'm breaking roots, I can feel it. I definitely broke a lot of roots. Hopefully it doesn't die. Let's start cutting and tying and tying and cutting and cutting and tying. I really feel bad for this one because he had the best window during the day. Hopefully the grow light makes up for that. So this top part right here, this is a vine that won't bend down. So I'm just gonna take that little black clip that I have and there we go. Wow, it worked, how nice. And look at this beast. Oh wait, I forgot one. A little harder than I anticipated. Guys, look at this freaking Hoyo Bovada. They had a heart-shaped one too, a heart-shaped trellis and I was gonna get that one and now I kinda wish I did, but this is so pretty, it's so freaking full. Look at that. And I put my smaller Hoya in the window so hopefully they grow longer so I can have some trellis Hoya and some trailing Hoya. But that does bring me to the end of today's video. Give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe for more planty content and until my next video, bye guys.